why is NH3 a polar molecule? We're talking about ammonia. The first thing we can do to figure this out is look at the Lewis structure. We have nitrogen, we have the hydrogens around it, and then this lone pair here. If you need help with the Lewis structure, link in the description. So now let's look at it in three dimensions. So here's our central nitrogen atom. Let's add those three hydrogens, one, two, three, spreads out, and right now it's trigonal planar. It's all in a plane. But don't forget about that lone pair. That pushes everything down, and that's what gives us that trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. The lone pair pushes these things down. It occupies space, gives us that trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. And as a result, the nitrogen, it's on the top. The hydrogens are kind of on the bottom. Let's go back. Since nitrogen is more electronegative, the electrons in these bonds here, they're going to spend more time with the nitrogen, and it's going to make it more negative. So right up here, we have the negative, and down here, it's more positive. That gives us poles. And ammonia, it's a polar molecule. And you can see it right here. That's it. I hope this helped. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.